Hello everybody, it's Rob, Weekend Sourcing Update. Um, I know some people like to watch some haul videos, that's why, uh, that's why I do them. So, I'm going to do one. Anyway, I, like many people, uh, have a lot of death piles and a lot of stuff that has to get listed, but somehow, for some reason, uh, whenever I have to get a lot of stuff listed, there's always some really good estate sales, and I can't pass it. And I don't know why. It just happened. It just happens to be coincidence that I say, okay, no, 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 I'm not going to go to any estate sales or thrift stores or anything for a week, two weeks, three weeks, because I got tons of stuff to list. But then I'll say, I'm going to go to this one. It's a good sale, and then I'll do really well at the sale, and then. That's what happens, and I get stuck with all this other stuff. I don't get listed, but I'm sure I'm not the only one, okay? A lot of people have death piles. So anyway, let me show you what I picked up. I had a few sales that I went to um, that I, I, knew the, I knew the people running them, and I knew they were going to take care of me, pretty much. I mean, not, not uh, super cheap. I had a, you know, when you go to estate sales, a lot of times you do have to pay up, but... It's better than getting the cheap merchandise. Anyway, here's a sweater I picked up. This is Joseph A. Bank. This is not really a brand that I do pick up. Uh, it's not a very expensive brand, but it's $275 because this is 100% cashmere. So it, it was newer tags. So newer tags, I'm definitely taking. Now at the same sale, it was another plain sweater, uh, but it but it's really nice. It's an Ermina Gildo Xenia. Uh, Xenia does very well with, well, naturally suits. They're known for their suits. But they do well on their um, knits. Button front shirts on Xenia don't really do as well. But the knits, even if this is, this is not even the new, new label. This is, you know, a few years old label. But, this, but it's newish. It will do well. Here's this nice Paul Stewart. This is like a t-shirt. I thought it was cool looking. Purple and blue, I guess it is, or green. Green. Now here's for the good stuff. Here's the goods that I couldn't pass up. I haven't seen this in a little while. About few, six months or so. Loro Piana. Okay. Uh, I went. This is one sale that I kind of... This is one this morning that I went to. Actually, I didn't get there till afternoon. Um, I really, I was thinking, should I go? Should I not go? Because I had gone the, yesterday to other sales. I spent a ton of money. So I says, you know what? Uh, I can't, let me go anyway. Screw it. So I ended up going. And I had to wait online a little bit. You know, I got there late. And, and usually, usually if you get there by around noon, you don't have to wait on a line. Usually the line is only for an hour or so. But, so I didn't get in until like 12.30, 1 o'clock. Anyway, they had a clothing rack, and this was right on the rack, right there. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, wow, no one's really even been through this rack. I mean, how much stuff could have been gone through, you know, this house? Um, there were people coming out with ties. That's what I'm going to show you a lot of these ties I got for a really good price. But this, if, uh, if anybody sees this brand, pick it up. So actually, I got two of them. Okay. Now look at all these ties that I picked up. They had a. This guy looked like he robbed a tie store. Okay, and a lot of them are so mint that um, I'm very tempted to list some as new, but they feel they look like they've been worn once, most of them. So I have here. This is like the new label Zenya tie. Okay, I got here Brioni, Chauvet. More Xenia. Brooks Brothers with the tags still on it. Another more Brioni. This one I, I haven't seen before. It's uh, Napoleon by Stefano Ricci. I'm I'm assuming it you know still should do well. Uh, so I picked up all these ties. This is about twenty ties here. I picked up that just at one sale. This one here I never heard of either, but I know this this might do well. Zilly. Here's another Brioni. This is older, but it's still but Brioni as well does well. Even the older stuff, 
Zenya, on the other hand, the older Zenya ties don't do well. This one is newish. If you see it like this, this style, that's newish. This is uh, pretty new. And this here is like what's in the store right, right now if you were to go. So it's like newer, newer, newest. They did have actually on oh, here, Aton. This does pretty well, this brand. They did have some older Zenya ties, which they're doing a two-day sale. I'm very tempted to go back. Uh, because I know I'll pick it up for, you know, $2 or something, you know, then it might be worth it at that low price. Even these I didn't spend that much on. Now, let's check out the other stuff I picked up. This here, uh, is something that I thought was, I was going to do magnificent with, but still a really cool piece. If anybody who, you know, is into fashion, uh, because it's got a, a thousand little bug bites on it. Just like that. Sometimes these coats, they get, you know, bombarded. Uh, but this here is something is very rare. This is uh, the Versace Couture. I believe that this label is the... Uh, hold on. There we go. I don't know if you can't see it. This label is... Before his, I think this is from the early 90s, before his death, Gianni Versace. Anything that you can find, Versace. Um, Versace is a very funny brand. Some stuff you'll pick up, and it, it, I have one shirt that's a newer Versace, and I can't give it away. Uh, the suits, the newer stuff, really doesn't do well. But the Versace that was from before Gianni Versace died, or even a few years after he died does very well um i don't know what i'm gonna do with this you know I, don't, I mean it's got these holes like this but you know i didn't pay that much for it so i'm not you know this one said it well now here's another another suit here very nice pattern this is the uh paul stewart very nice here's another paul stewart but i didn't realize that uh the lining is ripped now, I'm not familiar with this one, the LTD. Uh, I don't know if this is a custom one, or a, this might be the, I don't know. If anybody knows what, what this, which one this is, just let me know. I don't think so. It has the, the numbers in it, so it's probably not custom. Here's another one. This suit here, I think this is the same company as Paul Stewart, I believe. It's called Phineas Cole. Very sharp, very nice looking suit. Uh, you know, it's got the peak lapels. It's very popular. Single button, three pocket. Here's another suit. This was from the other sale yesterday's. Nice looking. It's a little older. It's a three button. But this brand is pretty well, does well. Belvis. It's a nice brand. Picked up this here. This is older too. Usually I don't pick this up, but, you know, this is the older label. The, uh, Xenia. But it's got these metal buttons. And um, at first I thought it was just a regular suit jacket. Because it just looked like a regular suit jacket. But with the metal buttons it's a blazer. Um, I wasn't going to pick it up. But at, with this woman at, at this sale. Uh, she always goes very low. So that of course makes you want to buy more stuff. Because uh, she goes lower than the other woman. Uh, this one here. Like this is a canali. This is very old. This you can tell by how the buttons are spaced out. They're very close together. It's an older style. It's a canali, but this will sell because it uh, it's um, this pattern is is pretty popular. This this houndstooth pattern. Also, um, it's a cashmere blend. So anything cashmere blend, you're good. Uh, here's another one from the first sale. This is a belvist. Uh, it's a double breasted. Very nice. With the peak lapels. Here's a brand I never heard of. This is... Uh, it says Oxford Lads. Made in China. I didn't know. But... Um, so 159. Look, it looked pretty hip. Looked like it was a newer style. So I threw that in the pile. Here's a really sharp... This is... This is 90's Versace. 
maybe late 90s. I don't know if it's quite like like the other one before his death. This here is the uh, this is the V2 model. This one, this line does pretty well. It's, it's not the higher line. The other line, the Versace Couture, is, is higher up. But some of these do well. Just hope I'm, you know, this yellow, it's going in and out. I hope when I take the pictures that it will come out, you know, just, you know, I really want to show off. It's nice that the buttons have V2 on them. And there was another suit here. Really sharp looking. Uh, another Phineas Cole. Another Glenn Plaid. Very nice looking. With the pockets at the angle. People like that. So, anyway. Just wanted to show you. Wanted to keep up. I, I said I was going to make some more videos. Um, if anybody has any questions. If anyone who wants to um, know anything about any of these brands. I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty well versed now. I'm, I'm getting to know these brands very well. Uh, if anybody needs any tips about going to sales, on negotiations, on whatever. Oh, and I, I got another story, but I'll make this one short and sweet. I place ads on Craigslist, and the guy, you know, called me. says, oh, I got a ton of vintage clothing, and I know you guys will get a kick out of it because, you know, I, I went there, and he had some stuff that was decent, okay, but nothing too crazy. Um, so we started, you know, as we're starting talking, and he was an older gentleman, and usually I have respect for older people, but when people start giving me BS, you know, I'll tell them that, you know, he's full of it. Anyway, uh, this, I'm sure you had people tell you this all the time, that, uh, you know, they'll, they'll say, well, this stuff sells on eBay for so much. And they say, well, why don't you listen on eBay? And the guy, he says, you know, I, well, I told him, I says, look, listing on eBay, it's a lot of work. You got to take the pictures, you got to do this, you got to do that. And he's like, yeah, I can't, I, he's like, uh, yeah, I can't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be bothered with that. So I says, yeah, it's a lot of work. He's like, oh, and he kind of like got insulted. Like, I, like, I didn't mean to say it like he's lazy, but in a way it's, that's what it is. You know, he's like, look, if you don't want to do the listings, that's what it is. You know, so he got very insulted when I says, look, it's a lot of work. And then, you know, he made it sound like I'm telling him that he's lazy when in fact that's what the case is because he doesn't want to list it on eBay. Anyway, I don't want to be too long-winded. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.